Uh, just wanted to get your reaction to Jordan getting having 20 Republicans vote against him at this point. Um, I, in this atmosphere, I'm not sure anybody could expect anyone to get 217 votes right now. So um, uh, he, Jim now knows who he's got to really go talk to. And I've heard different things. I've heard that uh, he may lose some votes. I've heard he's also going to gain some votes that somebody, you know, a few of these folks needed to stick a, a protest stake in the ground and that they're very gettable after that. Um, you know, you look at f four people sort of off voting for one off folks. I know my friends from New York uh, voting for my former friend. He's still my friend, but my former colleague, Lee Zeldin. You know, I, I, I'm not sure that that's a serious uh, uh, uh long-term position to hold. Well, a lot of these folks, these are the Republicans who basically gave you guys the majority to begin with. They're the ones who flip yep. seats. They're them. the ones who are defending yep. the Biden districts. What does it say to you that they're the ones who have the biggest concerns about Jordan at this point? Well, again, I'm not sure how big those concerns are because I'm not in those private conversations to find out where they are. I mean, I, as I talk to some of the folks who still didn't vote for Jim now, there is definitely pinched fingers about what happened with the process, both with Kevin and then again with Steve and what's going on. So it's not always necessarily uh, at this stage that it's all about who the candidate is on the floor. Can I just ask you, though, I mean, when you think about the fact that you have not had a speaker for two weeks, yes, is there a point in which you guys need to empower Patrick McHenry or find an alternative candidate that can unite the party? Because it seems like there's still a lot of work to be done internally for Republicans to be able to unite around anyone. Yeah, there is uh, there is a lot of work that's being uh, left behind right now. And it, this is not good for the country. It's not good as a check and balance on the Biden administration. Certainly not good for our ally Israel right now, uh, that we're, we don't have the ability to formally support them. Um, so this is this is uh, uh, unacceptable in my mind that we are going this long. We have to get serious about uh, who it's going to be. Um, I give Steve credit uh, in that he figured out quickly that he was not going to be able to cross that finish line and become speaker. Uh, so he decided to allow someone else to try to do that. Um, I think Jim's got a period of time here where he's got a, a t has got to figure out whether he's going to be able to reach that 217 threshold or not. Um, I think he can still get there. I really, as I look at it, I think it's still possible. I hope it is for his sake and for our sake to move on. How long should you wait, though? Yeah. What's it? I, you know, it depends on how quickly we're going to do these rounds. Uh, you know, look, we did four days initially getting into this. Um, I hope we're able to move faster. It better not be, you know, one vote per day. I hope we, we need to do much quicker than that. Um, so I'm hoping that we're going to be coming back uh, sometime soon and, uh, and, and have another vote. At this point, do you think we'll ever see a speaker again? Is it possible? Yes, that of course. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, of course, we're, we have to get one there. And um, you, you asked about empowering the speaker pro tem. Um, uh, I, I don't think that that would be a direction necessarily that we would go. We probably uh, might have to do something very limited, very temporary, if there is uh, really, truly an impasse. Otherwise, we've got uh, a duty and responsibility to keep moving ahead. And if some people think that the Speaker Pro Tem should be empowered, well, then he should just run, and they should nominate him and have him run. But I know Patrick. He's my chairman on my financial services committee that I serve on. Um, and uh, and and he doesn't. I don't believe he wants that the way for this to go. Uh, he wants the conference to move ahead and and uh, figure out who our candidate's going to be. Thank so, you. All right. Thanks good. So much. Thanks everybody. Thank you.